the fear of intimacy. Now, I don't know if you ever had the privilege to date someone with the fear of intimacy. I personally had. I dated a girl once that was basically raped, or not exactly, but sort of raped, and she had a fear of intimacy because of that. Now, those sort of fears that are associated with intimacy usually are due to some past events. Usually, when, during the time that you are younger. Alright, so some uh, people had really negative, abusive situation in the past, and because of that, right now, they have the fear of intimacy. And you are the one that has to deal with it. <laughs> Alright? So, yeah, there is a solution, but I must say that it's very hard to deal with those cases, and you should maybe consider using some professional, maybe this person should go to a psychologist or something, someone who has more experience with that sort of thing, because fear of intimacy could be a big one. Alright, so nevertheless, there is no psychologist right now, you are the psychologist, and you need to, to deal with it. So how can we help? Or as always, intellectualize it. Let us assume that there was some past event, something happened in the past, some sort of abusive relationship that this woman, for example, had some sort of rape situation or some sort of abusive relationship, and because of that, right now, she feels very uncomfortable with everything that is associated with sex. I must say that fear of intimacy is not necessarily the fear of sex. It's not necessarily the same thing, although usually, it, it's be, most of the times, it could be the case. Alright, so how can we help? Intellectualizing it means talking about what happened there. Tell me about this thing that happened in the past. I want to hear, it, uh, hear about it. And you should expect that it would be very, very hard for her to share with you this thing. Because when she talks about it, she's basically reliving the incident. If she was raped, for example, talking about it means almost being raped again. You know, she feels everything she felt back then. That's why it's such a big thing and such a dark thing in her, in her heart. And that's why I advised you to maybe use a professional. Even though those professionals, they don't have that many secrets, they are just more experienced maybe than you are in these particular issues. Alright, so when she talks about it, and again, do it very gradually, very slowly. Please don't make her talk about it if she doesn't want to, because it's so hard, it could be so, so hard. And do expect some crying and all of that drama that's very likely to occur if she talks about something that's very, very deep and dark and scary for her. Nevertheless, it's good to talk about it. It helps remove this darkness from the heart. When she talks about it, be there for her. Help associate yourself with this event. Right now, this event is something very, very, very dark within her heart. If you are there for her and act all gentle and nice and awesome, then this event becomes less and less and less scary because of you mainly, or you can associate it with something positive, right? But you are probably the positive thing that she should associate this event as well as intimacy in general with you. And that's why we, we said that gradually and slowly, technique number two, gradually and slowly deal with it, confront the fear. So... You know, I don't want to go into too much detail about talking about sexual situations here, but you know that it could be gradual. Taking, you know, the socks uh, uh, off, taking the shirt off, very gradual, slowly, wherever she feels this is becoming too scary, stop and deal with it, with breathing, with a lot of love and compassion. Be there for her, she needs you. Be, be the man you are supposed to be, especially in those situations. Be there. Don't be that guy that's pushing and being too pushy and too aggressive because that's exactly the problem. Her problem was that there was some other guy who was apparently very, very pushy and very aggressive to the point that right now she's traumatized and she has this trauma, she has this scar in her heart that is associated with anything that is intimate. And so don't do the same thing he did. Be the opposite. Show her that there are other men out there. There are people of light that are not going 
to rape her or to do anything negative to her because it's not all men. It's only the, her particular experience and she needs to be with you for you to show her that it's okay. And slowly and gradually, you can actually reach the point that you reach the maximum level of intimacy only by helping her show and showing her that it's okay, that some people are, are cool. They are not going to rape her or do anything to her. All right? And the third technique is associating it with something positive. So again, you are the positive thing she needs to associate it with. And make the entire experience a positive one. Because right now, she associates sex or intimacy with fear and hatred and pain or whatever the incident was. So show her that it could be a great, awesome, fun experience, joyful experience. It doesn't have to be that sort of thing that she unfortunately have experienced. All right, but the main thing to remember when we are dealing with these sort of fears is to really, really be gentle and slow and gradual. Don't push anything onto her. And you should realize when you are dating with these sort of women, realize that sex is probably going to come far into the future. Some women enjoy sex early on. Some women prefer to wait. In those particular situations, do expect it to come much, much later. Maybe even it won't come. If you are not high enough of a, of a master to deal with this particular fear, again, it's always okay to, to tell her, listen, maybe you should talk to a professional. Maybe you, maybe you need a higher master. Someone will help you out. Or maybe in the future, she will meet a, a guy who is more capable than you to deal with this sort of issue. And it's okay, no judgment. You can just let her go and find that other guy and you can deal with other women. You don't have to deal with things you don't want to deal with. It's also okay.